Hey everyone, it's Josh, Jay Ventachana Minis, Orlando, Florida, East Orlando. Uh, this is a new tool, a little different video I'm going to do. Uh, a new air compressor I just purchased, it's installed, uh, running. This is replacing my older Cobalt uh, that was an 80 gallon, uh, 5 horsepower, um, dual stage pump. Uh, this is about three times the CFM uh, as old Cobalt. This is a Polar Air Eaton. Um, you also see it as an Emax, a yellow tank, which is sold. Uh, as a retail. This one's sold direct to you, so you're going to get the Polar Air uh, or Eaton brand, but if you're buying from other websites that are resellers of Eaton's product, it's going to be an Emax or maybe a Flexzilla, which is like that neon green tank, but it's all coming from Eaton. It comes on a pallet that's a 48 by 45 inch rectangle. Uh, it's about six and a half inch tall pallet. Uh, I'm going to leave it on the pallet and overall height on the pallet is about 76 and a half inches at the top of the pump head. Uh, better off when trying to get this thing moved. It's 800 pounds, but it only took two people with the PVC method. Use some crowbars, lift it up, slide the PVC in. Uh, so this is all stock. This is how this, this compressor came. Uh, I went with the 10 horsepower model. Uh, it's single phase, 220. The electric motor is a 10 horsepower electric motor. The matching pump, which is 175 PSI, two stage, uh, pressure lubricated, not not splash lubricated. Uh, the gauges that they're using are made by Airbase. That's an Airbase on the motor. The um, pressure switch is an Airbase product. Um, snap a picture and show you the specs on the on the electric motor it's a, a WEG brand WEG uh, the line that comes out of the motor or the uh, pump is 5 8 inch copper OD uh, I did a basic option so I got a ball valve it's not the automatic drain on the bottom I'll just add my own um, they offer that of course the Ball valve was connected to the compressor. I added all the quick connect stuff, but this is a half inch uh, ball valve. Actually, no, this is three quarter. I reduced it to a half inch. I got the quiet air, which is the box on the back. It's a baffle box for the uh, intake of the motor. Helps quiet down, as I showed you with some of the decibel readings, or I will show you with the decibel readings. Heavy duty uh, shroud, powder coated steel. Uh, I did not elect. There was a couple options you can do. I didn't get the quick connect, disconnect um, option, I guess, with the uh, pulley for the belt change. It's just I'm going to have to unbolt this, move my motor over eventually when I need to put a new belt on. Then, or I guess the auto tensioner is what you'd call it. I didn't get that. I just got the regular slide the motor, create um, the tension needed, bolt it down. On the back side is a spec sheet, that silver decal, uh, but on their website, and I'm looking at the model I bought, this is an 80 gallon quiet air compressor. They claim 50,000 hours of industrial use with the proper maintenance on these pumps. Uh, this one is rated at 38 CFM at 100 or 34 CFM at 175. On the back of this, which you can't really see, uh, it does say 10 horsepower, it's one phase, 220. Uh, full load amps running. Uh, I have a 60 amp breaker sub panel ran to this one. Uh, I got a reading, I'll show you a reading of when I first start up the initial load versus running load amperage. Uh, maximum of 175 PSI. This has on the back, it's rated as SCFM at 175, they're showing 34. And the weight is uh, classified as 848 pounds. Let's do some straightforward data metrics versus uh, the other pump our compressor had. It was a 5 horsepower, 220, 175 PSI, 80 gallon uh, Cobalt or Lodes brand compressor. I bought it a few years ago, so it was like 2019 or so was a model year. Uh, so I've got some decibel readings. I'll show you that, and then we'll do it versus the Eaton. This is just a free app for my Android phone, so I'm not saying it's uh, true. 
but it will at least give us some metric to compare on. The other reading was the Cobalt, 5 horsepower, 80 gallon. This is going to be the Eaton Polar Air, 80 gallon, 10 horsepower, Silent Air. I usually roll my blast cabinet onto my driveway, so we're about 10 feet from the compressor. Obviously this is not an enclosed structure anymore, I'm outside the garage, but we'll get a reading from 10 feet away. I'll do 10 feet away with the garage door down and by the, the door itself. So. Amperage rating of this thing running real quick. Let's do a fill time, how long it takes to get the tank fully filled from nothing. Uh, run your tank the first time and you, depending on how they set the switch up from the factory, if this is even the same switch you'll get, uh, mine was set to cut off at 135, 140 PSI. This should be able to get to 175 on this tank safely. Um, so make sure your power's off, however you got to do it. I got my box over here on the wall, power's off. Then you're going to take your screw and pull this cover off, this switch. Inside here are some instructions. You can see down here it says 135 on, off at 175. So that's the max settings. There's only a 40 PSI delta between the on and off setting so however you swing it to the max if you bring it up to 175 it's gonna have to come on at 135 you couldn't do 175 um, at least my understands I, I couldn't get it to do it so I couldn't do 175 fill pressure and then let it uh, turn on once it hits hundred so it's actually coming on at about 135 like it says but uh, in order to get there you had these two screws this one is backed out. I'm not using it. What I'm using is just this main screw. So if you turn it counterclockwise to reset it to baseline zero, I'm turning it. This would be one complete 360 turn, which is one rotation right there. I'm doing that 10 times and that got me to the setting where it's going to shut off at 175 and get me uh, turn on at 135. Alright, so this covers will... back on, but I have the separate box for on off power. This also here, this box that's on there. If for whatever reason your pump doesn't turn on, there is a reset button here. So just letting you know about that. Alright, so let's just do a fill time. Let's see how long it takes to fill up to 175 psi on an 80 gallon tank, 10 horsepower. oil pressure gauge on the mo on the pump so we're at 40 roughly 40 uh, psi running As a little thank you bonus, uh, bagged and tagged is an offer here if you go on their link that they provide you and do a, a survey or a review, they'll give you a free cutoff wheel as a thank you, hair cutoff wheel. Uh, warranty, if you don't do anything but buy their oil, you'll get a limited warranty, which is going to be for five years on the electric motor and five years on the pump. Uh, that's you just calling in. and buying the oils and filters as needed uh, if you just I would recommend just calling them let them auto update the account so that they can fill in all your warranty info and at that time I just elected to set myself up on auto uh, oil and filter shipments and by doing that that set me up for a lifetime 
pump warranty. Really doesn't mean much because it doesn't matter. They're still going to cover me for five years uh, the, on the pump and electric motor. The only thing that's beneficial for me doing the auto oil and filter replacement subscription is that they say that since I did that, they will expedite my replacement parts if needed. So I guess they'll ship my repair parts if needed quicker than if I didn't do the auto subscription. Uh, the only benefit, I mean, for a lifetime pump is if you're going to keep buying their oil and filters past five years and keep buying into their warranty program, um, which will be 200 bucks a year. Uh, then you can kind of play the game that your pump is lifetime warrantied. Uh, you do the math on that one. I'll show you what's in the box for the oil and filters they sent me. But here's kind of, I've already started the delivery. There's their oil. And they give you some synthetic oil. As far as break-in goes, they say that you need to get at least 150 hours on that break-in oil before you start to use this synthetic oil. So just make note of that. But this is their oil that they claim is so smart. It's called Smart Oil. Air filter. These are the baffle fillers that you're supposed to replace on that uh, baffle. The next video I'm going to have to do some modifications because I'm going to use this on a blast box so I got to do some moisture management and uh, what I'll do is I already have like a Graco sharp air membrane dryer set up so I got two of their uh, moisture filters and the coalescing filters collects the oil and I have another set of those so I'm going to mount this on the air compressor and then I bought a 8 kg air, uh, air cooler kind of like an after cooler setup looks like a radiator and then some copper lines so I'll get that set up I talked to Polar Air Eaton it does not void the warranty to add this feature to the pump I'll add this auto drain this is from Harbor Freight so I'll go ahead and get this where this ball valve is I'll put this thing on it's like 10 bucks give it a shot if I don't like it I'll return it but I think I'll be okay uh, and then I also have an hour meter uh, timer, electromechanical timer, so I can keep track of the hours and do my oil changes as as service the pump as a as a request for the warranty. That will wrap up this video. Next video we'll get this installed and kind of show a before tank fill moisture coming out of the ball valve, and then once this is installed, we'll kind of just do a test and see how much moisture comes out of the tank after I fill it running through a radiator with the moisture trap system.